Hello guys, welcome back to this new video. So today we are going to read some dialogues dal ferramenta. Dialogo numero 5. Devo tinteggiare il mio appartamento. Mi dia della tempera lavabile bianca. Le servono anche dei pennelli? Sì, me ne dia un paio. Basta così? No, vorrei anche dello stucco, dei chiodi di varie misure e dei tappi a pressione. Vuole altro? No, grazie. Ah, dimenticavo. Ho bisogno anche di un martello e di una pinza. Guys, in order to understand this dialogue, let's for a second go back here and let's have a look at all of this. So, il chiodo, la vite, il cacciavite, il tappo a pressione, il martello. La pinza, il pennello, il barattolo di colore, il rullo. So if we go back here, right, devo tinteggiare means that I must color, uh, so I must paint uh, my apartment. Mi dia, that's a verb tense we have not encountered, but we have seen this expression, mi dia, mi fai, etc. Della tempera lavabile bianca, so that's just colore, washable, lava, lavabile, washable, bianca. And then the guy says, le servono anche dei pennelli? Do you also need brushes? Si, me ne dia un paio. And then, basta così? Is this enough? No, vorrei anche dello stucco. Stucco being um, a plaster. Dei chiodi, some nails of different uh, sizes. And then dei tappi a pressione, which we saw uh, earlier. This is like tappo a pressione, right? This particular type of nail. Um, and then, vuole altro? No, grazie. Ah, dimenticavo, was almost forgetting. I also need martello, hammer, and una pinza, pliers. So guys, this is a, you know, nice, interesting dialogue, right? I don't know how many of you are going to need this, but it's always useful at least to know some nouns, specifically like il pennello, because this one could be used also for other things. Il rullo, il barattolo di colore, il martello, that's nice, and then il chiodo. Okay, guys, let's move on, and in this dialogue we are going to discuss also all'autosalone. All right, all'autosalone, where, uh, you know, we are looking for a car, and somebody is looking to sell us a car. So, let's go. Dialogo numero 6. Ho visto in esposizione una macchina azzurra di seconda mano. Second hand. Certo, è una vera occasione. Ha avuto un solo proprietario e ha fatto 45.000 km. Vuole vederla? Do you want to see it? Sì, grazie. Guardi, è in ottime condizioni. Posso pagare a rate installments, right? So, rate is installments. Sì, può scegliere di pagare in 10 o 20 rate mensili. Naturalmente, cambia il tasso di interesse. La ringrazio, vorrei tornarci con mio marito. So guys, this woman saw this car, you know, um, and she's asking only, you know, if she could pay in installments. Um, all right. Um, of course, you know, here you're not gonna ask a lot, you, I mean, you're gonna ask other type of more technical questions, but for now, you know, maybe one day we'll go back to the more uh, technical questions. For now, I would want you to know that for now, this would be for now, this would be enough for us. Um, just to understand, you know, pagare a rate, rate mensili, and then tasso di interesse, which is interest rate. All right, guys, last bit for today. We're going to go to i contenitori, so the different types of containers. So we have una scatola di detersivo, that's soap, uh, una lattina di birra, that's a can, um, birra, beer, un vasetto di stucco, that's plaster, un pacco di fazzoletti di carta, tissues, un tubetto di dentifricio, toothpaste, 
un secchio di tempera, that's a bucket, un sacchetto di caramelle, una bottiglia di acqua, and then un pacchetto di fiammiferi. So we have una scatola di cioccolatini, una lattina di coca cola, un vasetto di crema per il viso, una um, scatoletta di cerotti, something like this, o scatola, o so, oh, scatoletta, di cerotti, una mm, bottiglia di olio e un pacco di zucchero. Yeah, un pacco di zucchero. Also, another interesting exercise is this one, where we could change un po' into some again, but using della. Um, della or of course, you know, uh, all the other um, articoli partitivi that we saw already. So, un po' di vernice becomes della vernice, un po' di colore, it's del colore, della tempera, un po' di tempera becomes della tempera, un po' di stucco becomes dello stucco, un po' di viti that becomes delle viti, because this is actually feminine, un po' di chiodini that becomes dei chiodini, un po' di bulloni, it's again dei bulloni, and un po' di solvente becomes del solvente. So hopefully guys, this video was helpful. As usual, as usual, let's of course write down all of these nouns. Also write down a little bit of those dialogues or certain expressions of those dialogues that we read earlier. Um, like uh, uh, the one all'auto salone, for instance, but also this one, dal ferramenta, which was also important. And hopefully, guys, again, this video was helpful. Um, so write it down, um, the, write down the expressions or the nouns that you don't know. And um, if you like, you can also make dialogues um, of your own. And guys, I'll be talking to you some more next time. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, let me know, and keep me updated on your progress. Bye!